So about two weeks ago, I made the decision to start doing um, some videos and putting some videos up on uh, my Facebook page in the launching of my new book, Autobiography of a Naked Yogi. And I have been putting it off. And I realized uh, today, sitting in my car right now, in uh, going to Victoria, where um, I was raised in Canada, um, that I've been putting it off. So I pulled out my iPad and said, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I've been knowing about the topic that I've been wanting to um, speak about, at least for this first one. And I'm really hoping that you guys um, start to write in questions about yoga because that's where I really do well as a speaker, as a teacher, is in answering questions. Um, but where I wanted to uh, um, lead from today is, or at least in this video, uh, in the next minute or so, is to give you a practice of learning to see what's in front of you. I've, this has been coming up a lot uh, for me, watching students as a teacher, uh, watching people who come to Blue Osa, that people really have a problem uh, looking or seeing what's in front of them. And I think that one of the greatest gifts that yoga has to offer in so many of the practices is learning is for us to learn to see what is truly in front of us. Um, this practice comes up a lot in, um, or is taught, is given, specifically, very specifically, in practices of Trataka. In Trataka is, um, is basically means to gaze. It, the practice is to gaze, to gaze upon an object, uh, sometimes that object, more often than not, is a candle. It also could be a statue. It could be a yantra. It could be could be so many things. It could be your lover. Practicing trataka on your lover is so powerful and creates a lot of fabulous energy. Uh, but practicing trataka is so useful in removing the veil that you have placed between you and the outside world. One of the greatest prayers in the Vedic tradition is, O oh Lord, lead me from the unreal to the real. There are so many layers to this, this teaching, to this practice, but one of the greatest uh, uh, offerings that I believe this teaching gives us is to learn to see what is really in the world that you're living in. Begin to practice this every day. Just in your everyday life, you don't need to light a candle every morning and stare at it for 10 minutes, although that would be a good start. But when you get on the elevator, don't turn around and face the elevator doors. Look at people. When you're walking along the street and Take in what's around you. Really look, really absorb it. Look at it without judgment. You know, turn off the judgment meter in your mind, in your brain, that's continuously going on. I call them the committee. But just really start to look at what's around you and see it for what it is. Take in colors, take in sounds and when you find yourself getting distracted and getting absorbed in this committee, uh, come back to it and uh, come back to taking in what is around you and um, experience life in a new way. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to say about this, is when you hear somebody tell you no, Take it in. <laughs> take it in just as it is. Or when you hear someone say yes, take it in as it is. Without judging them or without trying to change them. 
or without going into your mind thinking, oh, maybe they really meant something else. Just take it in, observe it, and uh, move on. So namaste, uh, and tune in next week for Ask a Yogi, or Ask Yogi Aaron. I haven't quite decided on the title yet, but uh, namaste everybody.